The member for Newtown in reply. Thank you, Speaker. And can I just say it is with absolute pleasure that it looks like that our motion today supporting housing as a human right is going to pass through the New South Wales Legislative Assembly. I'd like to thank the member for Parramatta, Newcastle, Des Moines, Riverston and the member for Sydney for their contributions and acknowledge that while I was the only female voice uh, in this debate, it is important to recognise that actually one of the growing uh, numbers of areas where homelessness is an issue is in fact in the area of older women who face serious homelessness. They are our mothers and our grandmothers who worked to care for families over many years who now don't have the superannuation and the housing affordability, uh, the housing security that so many need. I would like to thank the speakers in this debate but, and I would also like to point out that this is a fundamental priority for us in this chamber, in this parliament and in this government. It is unacceptable to me, it is unacceptable to the Greens that we continue on any further on the idea of prioritising housing profits, prioritising housing developments over the need to actually solve the housing crisis. And what we are seeing today is support across the chamber for an approach to housing which recognises it as a fundamental human right, that recognises the fact that like health care, like education, it is unacceptable that people do not have a safe and secure place to call home. It is not okay for there to be 60,000 households on the public housing waiting list. It is not okay for us to see a 37 per cent of increase in homelessness in New South Wales and just continue business as usual. And we have seen from the New South Wales Ombudsman report on more shelter today that in 2016-17 just over 5,000 children and young people aged between 12 and 18 years presented on their own to a homelessness service to see support or a place to stay and that more than one third of these were younger than uh, were in the younger age bracket it is completely unacceptable to see that young people that older women that so many in our community are suffering as a result of us not taking housing seriously but there is a good news story to this these are horrifying stats the stories that the member for Sydney recounted were truly horrific but at the same time we know that there are genuine solutions. We know we can solve it now. When you look at the research undertaken under the leadership of Pro Professor Nicole Guerin at the University of Sydney, we know that there are mechanisms that this chamber can put in place to solve the housing affordability crisis, to end homelessness in New South Wales. These things are possible and they're doable. We know that we saw actual mechanisms that occurred by government putting in place things in South Australia in Western Australia that have actually looked to address the housing affordability crisis. We also know, and I'll repeat it again, that one of the simplest things this government could do that would cost them nothing is to introduce legislation to put an end to no grounds evictions because we know that that would provide absolute security and safety for so many people living in the insecure private rental market. I want to conclude by acknowledging the outstanding work of a number of organisations that we work really closely with and that I am committed to continuing to work for to push the agenda for the fact that everybody has a place to call home. Homelessness New South Wales, Shelter New South Wales, the Tenants Union New South Wales, the Sydney Alliance, Red Watch locally in our area and our other resident action groups, Inner Sydney Voice, the Better Planning Network, the Newtown Neighbourhood Centre who is, which is doing amazing work innovating on the area of homelessness, our Surrey Hills Neighbourhood Centre and the 90 organisations that make up the Make Renting Fair Coalition. I can tell you that I will continue to put housing on the agenda in this place and in the community till we address the housing crisis and see that everybody who wants one has a warm place to sleep I'd at like night. To, I'd like to thank the member for Newtown.